How big is the universe, really? Start small. Earth, about 12,740 kilometers across, a fragile blue marble wrapped in a thin layer of air. Now our sun, a burning sphere so enormous you could fit one million Earths inside it. Even light, the fastest thing in existence, takes eight minutes to reach us. Now let light be our ruler. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, sits 4.3 light years away. So far that the light you see tonight left before many of us were even born. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, stretches 100,000 light years across, a sea of hundreds of billions of stars, dust lanes and newborn suns scattered through the dark. Zoom out again. The Milky Way is just one member of a small neighborhood called the Local Group, a few dozen galaxies bound together across millions of light years. Beyond that lies the Virgo Cluster, filled with thousands of galaxies. And even that is just a single knot in the cosmic web, a vast structure of filaments and voids that shape the large-scale design of the universe. Now comes the part that truly bends the mind. The observable universe, the part we can actually see, has a radius of about 46.5 billion light years. That's not 13 billion years of light travel time, but 46 billion in distance, because space itself has been expanding while that light was on its journey. Edge to edge, the visible universe is roughly 93 billion light years across. And that's only the part we can observe. Beyond that horizon, there's almost certainly more, maybe infinitely more. Cosmic inflation suggests our visible bubble is just one small patch on an unfathomably larger canvas. And here's the part that always gives me chills. When we look deep into space, we're not just looking far away, we're looking back in time. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured galaxies as they appeared more than 13 billion years ago, when the universe was young and Earth didn't even exist. The night sky isn't just space. It's history, frozen in light. So how big is the universe? Big enough that our entire galaxy is just a spark in a storm of fireflies. Big enough that time and distance share the same heartbeat. Big enough that the edge of what we can see is in a T the end. It is the limit of what we can remember. If that thought gives you goosebumps, you're not alone. We are small. We are early. And we are watching the universe wake up. Like and subscribe for more journeys to the edge of the known and the unknown.